In this video, I want to share with you a very special item that I absolutely fell in love with. I had a lot of viewers sent emails asking, what's that arm that you have in the background here? If you go a few videos back, you will notice that I had an arm attached to the bench here, and we have an arm attached to the bench here. This arm, we have a thermal camera attached onto it via a screw hole, just like a tripod. And on the one that we had on this bench, I had the camera attached to it pointing to my bench. So it's like a tripod that you can attach anywhere via a clamp. What's nice about this clamp tripod is you can control everything with one knob. Let's think about this tripod as shoulder, elbow, wrist. Wrist, I want to be able to control the wrist in any way, shape, or form. We have the elbow, I want to be able to control the elbow, and we have the shoulder, I want to be able to control the shoulder. And all those three joints are controlled with one knob. I'm serious. All three joints are controlled with one knob. Right now, the tripod looks solid. You cannot bend it, you cannot move the wrist, elbow, or shoulder. But as soon as we loosen that knob, as soon as we loosen that knob, then you can move the elbow, you can move the shoulder, and you can move the wrist. We need to loosen it more. We can move that wrist. I'll show it to you in practice and how useful this arm is. I went over 12 different arms from different vendors. I wanted to see which one is the best, which one is stable, and which one is easy to use. And I came across this one here, and I found this one to be the absolute best that's out there in the market. Now, if you look here, we have a thermal camera attached to this arm. This thermal camera was mailed over to us by a company. They want us to go over it and see if it works for us so we can carry and sell it in our shop. And I'm still going over it. And I have it attached to the arm. Let's say I'm working on a motherboard and I want to see the heat properties of the board. I want to test for a short. What I can do is I can loosen that knob. Loosen that knob. And I lost my microphone when I loosened the knob. I do not know how that happened, but I loosened the knob from here and the microphone fell from here. <laughs> okay, so you loosen that knob and look at this. Now the shoulder, I call it shoulder, elbow, wrist. That's not the proper names, but that's how I see it. Shoulder, elbow, and wrist, everything's loose. I mean, everything is wobbling all over the place. Okay, so what I do is I point it in the right direction. That works for me, pointing down, and I just tighten that knob, and the camera is steady and stable. I can work on the motherboard, I can inject voltage, I can check for a short, whatever the case may be. I'm done with this, I loosen the knob, and I tighten, and now we have the thermal camera all the way there. Maybe I'm working on this bench, and I want the thermal camera to be pointing on this bench. Easy. Just loosen the knob, okay? I can point the camera down like this. I can tighten the knob and I can work on it like this. That's so amazing. The engineering on this arm is so amazing because it's so practical. You can move it in any way, shape or form and it's very useful. Now I want to quickly go over how the arm is packaged. You have the arm and then you have the hot shoe adapter that we do not need right now. Let's take it out. The clamp that attaches to the arm Let's go over it. The clamp looks like this. And the clamp is screwed not to the rubber area of the arm, but to the metal area of the arm. You have a rubber area and you have a metal area. You want to screw the clamp to the metal area of the arm. Where is the screw hole? Right here. Screw it like this and you are done. Make sure it's tight, it's tight, and now the arm is loose, right? If we want to tighten it, just turn the knob, and it's tight. Let's open up the clamp, just like that, and now we can attach it to the bench. And you can twist on the arm so you can make it tight with the clamp. If the clamp is not tight with the arm, then the arm may fall over. So you want to make sure the arm is tight with the clamp. And now we loosen the knob here. Okay. And right there. Now let's attach a camera 
if you go a few videos back, I had a camera attached onto it. The camera is attached to it. Now look at this. If we tighten the knob, the camera is now stable. I can record whatever I'm doing on the bench here. Maybe I want to get the camera a little bit closer or maybe at an angle. You see, look at the head. Maybe I want to go like this. Just tighten the knob, go closer, and we can tighten that knob. And look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but all you have to do is tighten the knob and wow, wow. The reason I fell in love with this is because of how practical it is. I mean, I can use the clamp to clamp this arm anywhere, not just on my bench. Maybe I can clamp it on the shelf. Maybe I can clamp it on this light. Maybe I can clamp it on this microscope arm. I can clamp the arm anywhere. And that's what I love about it. Now, let's say I want that camera to be pointing down 90 degrees. I have that knob loosened up. It's loose right now. Once I have the camera in the right position, let's say I want the camera to be like this. All I have to do is tighten that knob. Only one knob, okay? And now the camera is pointing down at a 90 degree angle. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Maybe I wanna record myself talking. I can point the camera this way and I can tighten the knob and the camera is pointing at me this way like this. Now, one thing I did not try with the stand, and I thought maybe I'll try it when I'm making the video, is the Unity thermal camera that we sell in our shop. It does have the screw hole on the bottom, and this camera is heavy. So we're going to try to see how it holds up. It's a heavy camera, and there's a limit on how much weight we can put on this arm. I did not test out the limits, but maybe we can do so right now. So let's try out this Unity thermal camera. The screw hole is right down on the bottom and uh, we can screw the camera in. And like I said, the camera is heavy. It's not lightweight and the camera is screwed in, right? So I have the camera screwed in to the arm and now I'm going to tighten the screw and the camera is heavy. The thermal camera is heavy. Okay. Now look at this. Wow. Just look at this. It held that thermal camera, and the thermal camera is not lightweight. It's heavy. Now, maybe I want the camera to be closer, but I do not think it's smart to attach the arm all the way here and then extend the arm 180 degrees so it can reach that bench. If I wanted to reach the bench, I will disconnect the clamp from this bench, attach it to that bench, so everything is close. But let's see how it will work out. I'm going to tighten the knob. Okay, and it held up. I do not know if you can see it. It held up. Look at this. It's extending all the way from here, all the way from here, and then down over there. And the camera is heavy. But practically, the right thing to do is to attach the clamp on this bench, like this. I'm going to loosen up the knob, adjust like this, and now I can tighten that knob, and now I have that thermal camera right over my bench. I can be working on a motherboard, like I said, a motherboard like this under the camera. Maybe I have my macro lens on the camera, and I want the camera to be very close to my board so we can see which component is getting hot. I can loosen the knob. I can bring down the camera even more, even more, even more, and then I can tighten that screw, and the camera is held in place. Magical. I mean, this arm is magic, so practical, and you can never have enough. One last thing I want to try, I want to try to attach my Canon 5D Mark III. It's a heavy full frame camera. I just want to see how it holds up. Look at this, I have the camera attached, and right now I want to tighten that knob. Okay, and that's one heavy camera. That's one heavy camera. Let me point the camera at you. I'll loosen the knob. I'll point the camera like this at you. And then we can tighten that knob. 
Wow. Wow. I'm amazed. I do not know what will happen if we attach a big lens on that camera. I do have a big lens that we can try. All right. So <laughs> look at this camera now. Can the arm hold that weight? I'm curious to know the weight of the camera and the lens. Maybe I'll weight it inside and tell you. But let's say we have the arm like this. Or maybe let's do it like this so you can see it. I'm going to tighten that arm. And <laughs> the arm held this heavy camera with the lens. I did not test this camera with the lens before I recorded the video. What more do you want? You want me to bring a bulldozer and attach it to the arm and see if the arm will fall or not? I think that's enough. I'm not going to attach anything heavier than this, but wow. Wow. Let me loosen that knob and we can go like this. I mean, that's an expensive camera and lens, so I'm confident the arm will hold it, and that's why I let loose. I let go. If anything happens, I'll just go like this. Wow. Now, what you do not want to do is probably extend the arm all the way like this and then tighten the screw because that's just being stupid. Okay? I'm not going to do it. I mean, do not test the limits on this arm by doing stupid things. Just be practical in the way you attach things. Okay? I think that's enough testing, and you get the point. The arm is amazing. The arm is very stable, very solid, easy to use. And like I said, this arm is one of the best I came across. We tried over 10 different arms, I think 12 arms, and this one by far is the best arm I could get my hands on. Very stable, solid, easy to use, and just practical. You can purchase this arm on our website, just log in to northridgefix.com, click on shop, and you can purchase it along with all the tools that we sell in the shop here. Hot air station, soldering stations, the thermal camera, and we only have a few left in stock right now. We have a shipment on the way. Flux, grinding pen, tweezers, everything that we use in the shop here is sold on our site. Just add to cart, buy it, and we almost always ship out same day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think, and we'll do something else in the next video.